Okay, good day everybody. This is a demo for a game called Back to the Dawn. Okay, the music was very loud. It's still loud, but not as much. Uh, okay, so the description for this one reads... You were framed and incarcerated. Learn to survive in prison. Explore every inch and exploit any weakness. Manipulate and scheme. Make friends or foes with fellow inmates and with their help, break out of prison. Radio. So, uh, let's get to the new game. Oh, I get to choose who I am. Okay. Um, who are you? Uh, not captured on the right there. Uh, Fox Thomas. Thomas, a journalist for Woodpecker TV, gets drawn into the city's shadowy underbelly while investigating a story. Or blank. Black Panther Bob. Bob, an undercover detective, poses as a criminal and infiltrates the prison for a top secret mission. Okay, so. The fox is slightly worse, I think. So, three, four, four, five. Actually, yeah, it's a lot worse. Uh, it has more charisma. I assume that's what CHR is. But otherwise, let's be Bob, the undercover detective. I'm not ready yet. Experience Thomas's fo the Fox story first. Then why give me a choice? Okay. Ah, oh, so this is our... Right, so do we want to be a broadcast journalist, an undercover journalist, or a war correspondent? Uh, after graduating college, you joined a television station as an intern and soon found your way in front of the camera thanks to your good looks. You are able to get first-hand stories from the mouths of even the most reluctant interviewees. However, your years of working in public eye have made you extremely self-conscious about your image. Positive ability, charisma plus one, with an extra 30% when raising rapport with others. Negative effect, you can't shower without using soap. Okay, uh, that gets us affinity. Only one focus point is consumed when the befriending prisoners. Or, and egghead. Points plus two when performing knowledge actions. This goes up by an extra 1% for every three books you read. Okay, undercover journalist. As a journalist, you know all too well that the city's yield are often hidden in the darkest corners. That is why you always carry a miniature camera when you venture into the seedy back streets on your quest to reveal the truth. However, the constant danger has made you overly cautious. Uh, positive is plus one to agility. Is that the same? No, charisma. Okay. With one extra pocket slot. Could be interesting. Attempting a challenge with a reroll success rate of less than 30% will cost you two focus points. That seems oddly specific. I think um, that's not necessarily that bad. Uh, initial specialty, crafter, you can craft simple tools and weapons. A secret compartment, max violation of carry items plus 10. I'm not sure what that means. Um, war correspondent. During the civil war in the Republic of Alsluvia, Five years ago, you volunteered to go to the front lines as a war correspondent. You photographed up close and struggle that what? you photographed up close the struggle that civilians endured during the fighting. Life on the battlefield left you physically strong. Oh, that was a weird place for the music to loop. All right, but the horrors of war are forever seared in your mind. Strength plus one, and your armor changes to thick fur. Uh, okay, Nightmare can be automatically forgotten. Can't be automatically forgotten. Okay. Uh, speciality is when performing a weapon attack, you will not consume extra endurance due to all thumbs. And basic medicine. You can craft pressure bandages, laxatives, and steam pills. Performing a wrap action in a fight will additionally heal you up by an equal amount to your intelligence. Okay. So what are we going to go with? I think 
the extra pocket sounds pretty good. Uh, and the negative doesn't seem that bad. Yeah. Yeah, sure, let's do that. If it's the law of the jungle in the city, then how are we any different than from wild animals? Dear viewers, I'm here at Lemeleg River near the Black Marsh Chemical Plant at Skid Row. As you can see, the river is purple. It also has a very pungent odour. I'm with one of the residents of the riverbank. Let's hear his thoughts on the matter. My thoughts? The damn chemical plant opened less than two years ago and it's already devastated the surrounding area. Those heartless sons of bitches must have dumped the sewage into the river at night. Now all the fish are dead. It's messed up. Just smell the stench. So many kids are sick. They can't stop coughing and have rashes all over their bodies. And have you informed the authorities of such as the Environmental Protection Agency or City Hall? Of course, but they're useless. No man wants to take responsibility. I heard the mayor's nephew has his shares in the plant. The bastards are all... In on it together. Fair enough. Oh, it's waiting for me to push A. Um, they see us poor people here as less than nothing. Viewers, is the tragic situation here a result of legal illegal sewage dumping? And is the inaction of the authorities due to the mayor's involvement? Okay, position A doesn't seem to speed this one along. We'll continue to investigate the story, so stay tuned for our follow-up report. At least it stays on long enough for me to read it. I'm Thomas the Fox, Woodpecker TV. Report. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Excellent interview. You re your reputation is well deserved. I'm sure you didn't ask me just to watch the video with you, Mr. Campaign Manager. Indeed not. We're both busy men. I'll get straight to the point. As you know, the mayor's full term is almost up. The election's just around the corner. He's seeking re-election and has hired me, Angelo, as his campaign manager. The mayor's asked Eraser for help. He must be desperate. The Eraser? Oh, that's just a baseless slander. I'm a serious social activist. But let's get back to the point. Cards on the table, the mayor does indeed have a certain relative that holds shares in the plant. The mayor wasn't aware of the fact, and no so-called power for money deal ever took place. But your interview may cause some more unsophisticated citizens to misunderstand the situation. So I hope you'll reconsider your follow-up report to avoid any further misunderstanding. I'll find out the truth or I'm just doing my job. Um, I, I'm just gonna say I'm just doing my job, you know. I'm just reporting the news. You, you. what a great journalist! I admire your passion for your work, but it's more to life than work. Far more. What are you trying to say? A little birdie told me that you're still renting a flea bag apartment and broke up with your girl not too long ago. Okay. And no friends to speak of, other than that lawyer you used to go to school with. Your aggressive reporting always gets you in trouble. Here's the one who has to clean what well, he's the one who's had to clean up your mess. You've clearly done your research on me. You'd make a pretty good journalist yourself. I kinda like dismissing what he's saying by just saying this. Yeah. You flatter me. I'm just trying to make a point. We both find ourselves in situations that are less than ideal. Can we can help each other? Knuckles, the briefcase. What's this? Are you trying to buy me? You got me wrong. I simply want to, you to join the campaign staff as head of publicity. This is your fee. Someone of your talent working as a TV reporter. Such a waste. And I want to give you the opportunity. So will you join us and carry on? The fact is reporting. You're a smart fox. I'm sure you'll make the right choice. Decline. Take the money. There's no shame in it. On it. Um. 
I mean, I imagine this one just ends the game, so let's just decline it. Put your money away. I'm not for sale here. How unfortunate. Since you're so determined to be so stubborn, you leave no other choice. Is the eraser about to show his true colours? You can't buy me, so you have to resort to threats. Are you looking for a chance to erase me as well? No way, you're the hot shot who broke the contamination, sorry. If you were to disappear, it would be a major headache for me. After all, the public do love in to engage in wild speculation. I'm glad to hear that. If there's nothing else, I'll be going. And I promise you'll see a follow-up report real soon. Take care, have a nice day. Oh, what's the wolf he got planned? Hehe, <laughs> you'll regret your foolishness. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm Sergeant Norman. This is my precinct. Is this your car? Yes, is there a problem, officer? See if the anonymous tip that your car contains a legal substance. We're here to check. Oh my god! Kyle, check up front. Eric, move your arse, turn out the trunk inside out. Sir, there must be some kind of mistake. That's for us to determine, you just sit tight. Huh? Sarge oh, found it, he was hiding something. And it looks like a grade A stuff. Wait, I don't know anything about that. This set up the guy in the cafe he must have just... Shut your mouth. Save it for the station. No! What a great day. This calls for another drink. Damn wolf. Oh my god, what the fuck? Um, today Thomas the Fox, prominent reporter of Whippaker TV, was sentenced to three years in prison and fined $50,000 for his possession of legal substance. He was served his sentence in Boulderton Prison. Sources stated he also is suspected of bribing interviewees and fabricating fake news stories, among other violations. In the words of one city resident, I'm very disappointed in him. I no longer believe any of his past reports. Oh, I was going to make a comment there, but let's not. Um, the investigation into contamination of Lemeleg Risa has finally been brought the truth to light. The investigation team jointly formed by the City Hall Environmental Protection Agency issued a statement which read, The incident was caused by a temporary worker who was drunk on the job. He accidentally poured chemicals down the drain, which resulted in minor contamination. The temporary worker in question has been fired. The investigation team has also allocated the Black Marsh Chemical Plant additional funds to assist in its cleanup activities in an effort to return a clearer river to the public. Yeah, yeah. Twenty-one days until mayor ele election. All sorts of animals in here. Stand at attention. Listen, good fish. I'm a fox, not a fish. <laughs> From now on, your inmate one two two zero. It's weird that the um, guards call him a fish. Actually, is that? Surely that's not allowed. But anyway, um, I'm Captain Bruce, and my words are the law. You will be obey. Do you understand? Mumbles, yes, I understand. What? Speak up, I can't hit you. I understand. Good, now get your ass to sell free and make it snappy. Here it is, fish your new home. Before you go in, one last thing. Head count is in the lobby at 8. You better be not be late. Now get out of my sight. With all your might. Your mind. Anyway, phew, that guy talks a lot. <laughs> Does he? But now is not the time to waste energy getting mad at him. It's been a week since my conviction and I still haven't met with Reed, lawyer. I don't know how the appeal is progressing. I need to contact him ASAP. Hmm. 
past the prisons, they should know how to contact the outside. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff that's just been shoved on my screen. Uh, memory recall, what's that? Ask Selma how to contact the outside. Oh, okay. It tells you like what your stats are at that specific time as well. Nice. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, I wonder if the time is going to tick over or if it only ticks when you do an action. Looks like it's only going to tick when we do an action, which is good because I want to read stuff. Um, oh, here we go. The price of justice. You've been for effect. What? <laughs> You've been framed for reporting on a sewage violation at a chemical plant involving the mayor, and now you find yourself incarcerated in the maximum security Bolton prison. Although the verdict has been reached. Your lawyer friend, Reed the Red Panda, is still trying to appeal. You need to get in touch with him as soon as possible to discuss the next steps. You must not stand for this miscarriage of justice. Ask yourself out how to contact the outside. 50 brain. You can craft simple tools and weapons. Get your creative juices flowing. Specialty activated. Add skill points. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, agility, we've got the secret compartment. Oh, what's this one? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, it's almost as if you can make things disappear into thin air. Interesting. Cool, there's a lot of um, things here. We're not going to read all of these because it would just take too long. Uh, maybe when we get a skill up in that particular category, we'll read some of them. Uh, in my pocket, I have a caramel bar, cookie, chewing gum, a demo prep crane. You have no idea how it ends up in your pocket, but you have a very feeling it would be an amazing gift. Ah, okay. Paper and a coin. Okay, so we can use this to, to disassemble, disassemble stuff. Digestion, focus, prestige. Okay, what gangs we got? The Bigfoot Gang. The Bigfoot Gang is a bunch of hard criminals who run the prisoner's weight pit and underground boxing matches. So if you're a tough guy, they're the gang for you. They, they're minus 15 with me at the moment. Be careful what you say and do. If you offend the Bigfoot gang, things won't end well for you. The Sharp Tooth Gang is a group of thieves who control the prison's basketball court and TV room. To them, everything is potential prey. Uh, I'm 15 in the positive for them. There are no issues between you and Sharp Tooth Gang. What? No issues between the Sharp Tooth Gang and you. Maintaining the status quo is probably the best option. The Black Poor Gang. Clawgan is a band of crooks who run the prison's general building and loan sharking. If there's shady business, you bet they're involved. Minus five, be careful what you say and do. Okay. Oh. It's a lot of people. Or animals, I should say. Okay. Uh, what is up? Oh, that takes us to skills. Left takes me to inventory. Down doesn't do anything. A storage cupboard looks like I can have my own space. There seems to be a piece of paper on top. Hmm, the prison schedule. This is exactly what I need right now. Tutorial tip cupboard. A small cupboard you can store items inside. Contraband rules are very strict. The more dangerous something is, the higher it's violation. Normal compartments, the cupboard, normal compartments can only store items with violation or two or less, otherwise they will be discovered. Hidden compartments, don't worry, the, there are hidden places in the cupboard and other corners of the cell where items with high violation can be stored. Okay, two minutes have gone past. 
guess that's because I interact with the cupboard. Uh, interact or look. Uh, interact. Okay, talk. Hi, I'm Thomas, your new cellmate. Oh, hi, I was just reading a letter from my girlfriend. I'm Sam and the nickname's Ratchet. I was a mechanic on the outside. I'm a journalist or I work in TV. Um, I work in TV. Hey, no wonder you look familiar. I might have seen your show. Ask how to contact the outside or leave. Sam, is there any way for me to contact the outside? I need to talk to my lawyer. Of course, this is a modern prison. You can write a letter like me. Or if you're in a hurry, you can, there's a payphone in the lobby. You can try it after head count, but there's usually a line. Phone, that's great news. I'll call after head count. A price of justice. Leave your cell and go to the lobby after head count. This table looks older than me. But I guess beggars can't be choosers in this place. Maybe I can use it as a simple workbench. Craft, right, no pin of plant. Oh, this potty plant seems to be made of plastic. If I want to grow a plant, I guess I'll have to wait for the full version. Right, okay, I can make a lock pick. Material info. Oh, okay, I need two paper clips and two nails, and I don't have any. Okay. A rope requires eight bits of cloth. Cloth requires a bed sheet. A mint roll up. Okay, what's it do? It's Medicine. Ah. Uh, improvised item. Friendly advice, don't use it to wipe your ass. <laughs> okay. One down, nine, nine, nine to go. Okay. Right, we've got loads of... Oh, I see, that's changing how many we create. It takes five minutes to do and it costs 20. I'm not sure what that is. I oh, know that that's 20 time and it's five stamina. Okay. Sure. Nice. Uh, what? what am I doing now? Reputation plus one. Hmm. Okay, can I leave? I should go for head count. Looks like I made it in time. Attention! <laughs> I like that they're all dogs. Settle down, all of you. The head count starting. That's heads, one, two, three. Hmm, that's 44 out of 47, three inmates are absent, two in the firmly and one is segregation. That's all. Let's snap today's the first of the month, which means more, some more dipshits have joined. Yeah. I warn you now, do not try to stand out on the crowd. Try to be a smart ass in my domain and I will show you no mercy. Now let's get you down to business. Now let's get down to business, rather. All you newcomers listen and listen good. Today's announcements. To enable the lazy maggots to earn your keep, the prison officer work offers work assignments. There are still vacancies in the laundry room for now, so any new inmates that want to earn some money should apply to me. Remember, don't be choosy about your job. If you want to do it, so if you don't want to do it, someone else will. We want higher wages. I'm not going to be your slave. I want to go to the kitchen. Not interested. Shut the hell up. I don't have time to listen to your whining. 
Dismissed. Prison work. Do I need some cash? I only have a few coins in my pocket. But the top priority now is to call Reed. He's probably waiting to hear from me. Give your lawyer Reed a call in the main building lobby. Do I have a map? Hmm, not one that I can seem to find. A drinking fountain. I never thought there'd be any fr pink free in this place. I could use a cup of coffee. Uh, is this the main building? Ah, prison schedule. Lunch, all minimums go to the cafeteria. Time cafeteria may not exceed one hour. Recreation. Bidding to return to the maid building without permission. Oh, interesting. Dinner. They can return from the re recreation yard to the main building, collect their food. In the car. Evening, bathroom, bathroom opens. Save all the time spent in the bathroom may not exceed 30 minutes. And then at 10 o'clock. Lockdown. All inmates must return to their cells. No noise is allowed in cells during lockdown. Come on, it's been so long. Did you show me the script? To the, to the director or not? What? What do you mean you didn't get a chance? You're his assistant. Do you have any idea how important the script is to me? My entire comeback is riding on this. Seriously, can you just get it together? Don't forget. Who helps you when you're a rock, rock bomb? Oh, I've got an exclamation mark up there now. Why? How do I access it? Uh, I don't, don't know. Oh well. Um, how do I make a phone call? He's on the phone. That's what. <laughs> Excuse me. Persuade him to leave or pay him to go. Ten. I don't know how much how much cash do I have. Fifty. Uh, sure. Pay him to go. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Can you let me use the phone first? Fine. I was finished anyway. Thanks, Rudolph. Let's make a call then. Welcome to the prison smartphone. Please enter your inmate number after the beep. Press hash to end the call. My friend, I've never expected this place to be so modern. Enter one two two zero number. Connecting. Hello, that one. You can make two more calls today. Charles ten per call, and ninety percent service charge will be added for your first call. I know it wouldn't be so that simple. Seems this place more shady than I thought. I don't have that much money in him, so I need to find a way to get that much money as soon as possible. Time to make money. Make a hundred dollars to make a phone call. Uh, try to earn money by either working by any means. You see Captain Price for a job. I'm sure you haven't forgotten his ugly mug. Looks like. Yes. Uh, there he is. Bad attention. What is this? Ask about work. What, you want to work? Good, inmates should keep busy. I have some good news. Right now, you can apply to work in the laundry room without without good conduct credit. Mm. This is a special privilege for new fish like you. If you're interested, come and fill out the form. Good conduct credits. One of the warden's innovative policies. You can spend them to apply for prison jobs, cell facilities, change your cellmates and more. There are three ways to earn it automatically by not being put into segregation. Uh, working hard and completing prison jobs. Okay. Increase the number of phone calls. Oh! Grants four hours on computer use in general building. Okay, well, we don't have any, I don't think. Uh, no, work in the laundry room. Your application is approved, and now you can work in the laundry room. Got laundry room permit. A permit. 
okay it will be up during working hours so how do i get there simple you see this fence gate go out there before lunch and a guard will take to your workplace to the other side of the corridor don't try any funny, funny business the work area is watched by snipers over the tower you wanna you wouldn't want to get your head blown off right now would you okay go to work you want to work yep my request has been approved hmm you do have a work permit but i can't find a health certificate for you you have to go to the infirmary for a physical you have to pass before you can work do you understand yes i understand you have to go to the infirmary first go to the infirmary according to the regulations all new inmates must go to the infirmary for a physical do you want to go now yes god i don't know god i will escort you behave yourself You're here for a physical, the doc's in the consulting, consult patient room. You can go in by yourself. Come to me in the corridor when you're done, don't get stay in there too long. Okay, I won't cause any trouble. Infirmary. Okay. It's the best place in the whole prison. There's a beautiful doctor. Soft beds and a whole host of treasures in the pharmacy. Whatever your reason for coming to the infirmary, you can see a doctor once. So don't miss the opportunity. Fernando. You calling me? My friend. Hi, you're new here, aren't you? That's right. I'm Fernando the Anteater. And it's been five years. As someone who knows a thing or two, let me give you a piece of advice. Danger alerts around every corner in this place. Especially for newcomers, it's best to have some medicine just in case. Might as well let me know. I was a surgeon before, helping people is what I do. One more thing, it also means I get to work in the infirmary. I get all sorts of good stuff like alcohol and painkillers. Come to me if you need any. We can discuss the price. I thought it seemed too good to be true. You have a friend of Fernando, the Antita, his rapport will help you. And Antita with sharp claws. He works as a surgeon before he was in prison because of his medical experience. He is given special permission to work in the prison infirmary. This allows him to lay his hands on various goodies. If you need medicine or rubbing alcohol, he is the one to see. Okay. Inmates may not remove any items on the infirmary. Tim, he's unwell at the moment. Walter, he's also unwell. Right. Lintercom, it seems even if you come to the infirmary, you can't just see the doctor whenever you want. Hello, how can I help you? I'm here for a physical. Physical, I'll come on in. I have some free time. You undergo a brief physical in the consultation room. I am Beth. From your records, I see this your first time in the infirmary. I'm the doctor here. I'm responsible for all inmates, ailments, big and small. Every day I leave at 5.30. Sharp. Don't, I don't like overtime. I understand that I wouldn't want to work in a prison at night either. Oh, I see that was the... F okay. If you get hurt during the night, the guard brand will administer your drip. And he's not a doctor, but he has some medical training, so you don't have to worry. Okay, let's take a look at your test results. Now, first of all, congratulations, there's nothing major wrong with you. But considering the unsanitary conditions here, you can never be too cautious. I'll give you a vaccination to help protect against most of the infectious diseases in here. Wait here, I'll just get it from the pharmacy. What should I do now? Get up. I can see the cell tower across from here. It's not, it's much higher than the prison walls. There might be some useful information on this computer. On a desktop, it's such a mess. 
intelligence test. This is the test of intelligence points plus one per point of intelligence. Okay. Uh, I've got 72% chance. Sure. Success. Okay. There seems to be something in that folder. Browse medical records or check emails. Uh, let's check the emails. Hey, Ob. What the fuck? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay. Let's uh, come out of that. Hmm, I never thought she'd be into the same category as me. <laughs> Uh, three minutes. Can I look at anything else? Thank you for Swan Island singles. Okay. I guess she can't stand being on her own. Apparently this doesn't take time to read, so we can look at them all. Thank you for the cookies she sent. Um, I've changed my code for my birthday now. Um, what's love, Beth? Okay, let's read this one, hang on. I've even used his birthday as the code to, for the consultation room. I'm taking things once at a time. I've changed the code to my birthday now. So how old is Beth? So the consultation room code is her birthday. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Okay. Uh, back. Browse medical records. Game of sloth. He's got a skin, chronic skin condition. Requires injections. Jimmy the giraffe. Hypertension and mild complications. Requires a drip. Uh... Kevin the koala is hypersomnia, genetic, requires medication every Wednesday and Saturday. Diego the alpaca, type 1 diabetes, requires animal insulin. Uh, Bob the panther is a hyperthyroidism, that's the guy that we could have played as. Uh, kidney stones and chronic, well we couldn't play as because demo. Hmm, okay. It seems that patients can come to the infirmary regularly. Three minutes, let's have a look, see what they've got. Shall we back soon? I better search next time. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, and wait for her. Are you ready for your shot? I have something to say. Give a gift. Oh, you do you want to give me something? Uh, can raise reports. But of course everyone here likes different things. To avoid making gifts look cheap, you can only give one gift to each inmate per day. Um, a demo paper crane. This is the most special gift I've ever received. Okay. Small talk, clear your feelings first. Small talk. Sure, if it will help you relax. Did you know that the prison rules say I'm not allowed to talk to inmates? Uh, so why are you talking to me? Because I'm the only one in the examination room. Have you ever tried not speaking to anyone for the whole day? I sometimes wonder who the real prisoner is. So why are you a prison doctor? I'm just a stupid girl trying to piss off her even stupider father. Family trouble? Let's leave it for that for now. Okay, here goes. Get shot. Here you go, this may hurt a little. After receiving a shot in your arm, Leave the consultation room. Got a health certificate. Yay! What a fake door. What kind of room could be? In? Turn the door handle, peek through the gap. There are rows of cabinets that look like they contain medicine. This must be the pharmacy. No wonder it's like Fort Knox. Uh, I can't seem to exit, so I have to turn the door handle. The handle won't budge, the hat door is locked tight. It's probably an anti theft lock. It won't be easy to open. Okay. Pharmacy is a treasure trove for a place like this. 
the inmate one two two zero regression to return to gym pop. Right, and what's the time now? It is ten to ten. We should be able to do work, yeah. This room is the laundry room, the washing machine is so loud. Let's see what work I can do here. Hmm, what's this? Didn't find anything. It took me five minutes and I didn't find anything. This machine is taller than me, but it's tiny compared to everything else here. There are wheels on the bottom. It must have been moved here. Hmm, so I could probably move it myself. Let's not do anything too adventurous to start with. Let's just... Detergent mixing room. Let's just do some work. Dining board looks like this is the job in the laundry room. What exactly am I supposed to do here? There might be some instructions on the wall. I'll take a look. Instructions on the wall. Uh, I don't see any instructions on the wall. Hmm, maybe I should talk to one of these people. What are you doing? Let's talk to... Bob. What do you want? Just waiting to leave a friend. Hey buddy. You haven't seen a wolf around here, have you? A grey one. Uh, I don't think so. His name's Fenrir. He owes me money. A lot of money. I heard he's in this joint, but no one's seen him. I've looked all over, but there's no sign of him. Has someone else gone to him? If you help me find him, I'll share the money with you. Okay, I'll keep my eyes open. A black panther who always keeps a low profile. After striking up a conversation, he asks you to help him find him a wolf named Fenrir somewhere in the prison, claiming that Fenrir owns him a lot of money. Although his story sounds very intriguing, you cannot shake the feeling that he is hiding something from you. Yeah, it's like he's an undercover detective. There's... Hmm. Don't see any instructions. Hmm. Right, let's just do click on work and see what happens. Oh. Um. Shush, it was just in time, my friend. Did you just get in here? Not too long ago. Good, that's just what I'm looking for. I don't trust guys who've been here a long time. But they've been here too long. What do you mean? Just what are you looking for? Now introduce myself, I'm Bam, an investigator. An investigator sounds weird. And with the Bureau of Paranormal Investigation, I specialise in supernatural events. Okay. We recently received a tip off that someone's trying to summon otherworldly demons, and the location is likely within be within this prison. My mission is to stop summoning ritual, but time's running out. That's why I'm making an exception and looking for an assistant. I detect that you have some physic psychic power. Perhaps you can assist me in my mission to save the world from an impending crisis. I think I need some time to digest the otherworldly information. A mysterious cat who claims to be a paranormal investigator. According to him, there's a cultist attempting to summon otherworldly demons in the prison. And he was sent to investigate. Detecting that you have some psychic power, he invests invited you to his, be his assistant. Although his, the things he talked about seemed completely outrageous, his tone was very serious. Is he just playing a dull prank or is the world really facing a crisis? Perhaps the answer will be revealed shortly. Um, what about, let, let's talk to Crunchy then. Is that a wolf like as well? The reputation needs to be level 3. Defend Lieutenant. Okay. 
Hey, the last quarter's earnings arrived this morning. You should have made a lot this time. Really, that's great. I was worried I wouldn't have enough money to buy any new games. Well, I owe you an apology. I thought you might be lying before. It's fine. Let the money. I let the money speak for me. I wouldn't spend the money on games if I were you. I strike while the iron's hot and reinvest. Wouldn't you want to have a nice little nest egg ready for when you get out? Okay, so it seems like Taylor is still trying to do crook things as a crook in here. Trying to sell Bitcoin or something, I'm not sure. Um, search this as well. You didn't find anything, okay. Why do you take care of your money and your money will take care of you? I don't have enough focus points. Focus points represent your concentration. In here, there are some things that can't be done half heartedly. But the good news is focus points will start to recover over time, one per hour. If you can't wait to meet someone, try chewing some mint to calm yourself down. Uh, which one's the mint? Plus gum. Surely that should be enough, yeah? Let's uh, eat some gum. Two hours? What does that mean? Oh, is that how long it lasts? What did I do if I didn't... Mind and Charisma. Oh, okay. Hmm. Not entirely sure what I just did. What's this? Ah. Health certificate and laundry work. Experiment. Coughs violently. Cameras are strong. I'm choking here. Staying here too long can't be good for my health. Detergent repetitive written on it. Okay. A yeah, rust remover. Okay. There's the instructions for that we're about maybe i do need to move this maybe i can push it push this dude this sure isn't easy oh, oh here we go i involved instructions workers must be proficient in the use of iron take up the iron to start ironing and put it down to stop. Ironing takes... What? The ironing times for five types of clothing. Top, pants, vest, underpants, socks. The closer the actual ironing time is to the specified time, the more pay the worker will receive. In order to improve efficiency and reduce costs, each worker must finish ironing three items of clothing in succession before he can receive his salary. Note, the iron is fitted with anti-theft alarm if the iron is disconnected from the power cord, it will trigger the alarm, so use it with care. Oh, okay. Hang, hang on. Let's read that again. So, 11, 10, 9, 8, and 7. Okay. First, get the clothes on the car. As the worker coach said, the job is really simple. You just have to count. Press the RT button to start ironing and then count. When you think it's time, press the RT button to stop. You can use the meter at the bottom of the screen for reference, but it will disappear after three seconds and then you're on your own for the rest. I see, okay. So uh, 11 minutes. 
Đây Đó Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, not too bad. Uh, eight minutes. I I could cheat and just look at my um like recording, but I'm not going to do that. That's, so one, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I forgot what it was. Underpants, wasn't it? Yeah, that was bad. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Eight minutes again. And four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. Not too bad. Phew, that's all three done. I wonder how much I'll be paid. I failed on that one. So, 20. Um... I think I could do one more session of ironing. Okay, it's it's eleven seven seven this time. Okay. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Still too fast, but mm, seven. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh! Oh, got a star on that one. Nice. Uh, oh, I can do some more ironing if I wanted to. Uh, how much have I got, money-wise? A hundred. I've got exactly enough to... Because it's a hundred... It's fifty... It's ninety, sorry, to pay that one-time fee, and it's ten, I believe. Okay, let's do some more ironing. <laughs> I don't care if I'm late for lunch. Eight minutes. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, so close. Um, ten, okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, at <laughs> uh, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, just over. Damn it. I'd rather be under than over, but let's have a look. Hey, another 40. Hunger. You hungry? Go get some chow. You automatically lose satiety every hour. When satiety is depleted, you'll feel hungry. That's not a good thing. Hunger will cause you continuously to lose body, mind, and mind. You won't feel hungry while you are asleep. Okay. Okay, can I stop? Hello? Oh, I had to push A. Is it 12 already? I should get some chow. I like the little animation in the bottom right changes depending on where you're going. The place doesn't look too bad. I hope... Does the, the taste doesn't disappoint. Hmm. Alright, so I've made money. Sticks. Order food about the cook's brothers. I don't really care at the moment. Uh, what are you going to eat? That's free. That's $10 and that's 30 Um... Reduced duration of injury by two days. Oh. Um, I don't really need mind or body stats at the moment because I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's just go with the bread. Let's sit next to Bernard, shall we? Eating lunch. 
After a busy morning, you finally want to sit and eat, right? But hold your horses. I need to teach you a few things first. Share food. You can share food, half your lunch with a person on your table. This will increase the rapport for you. Ask for food. If you don't have enough lunch, you can try asking the person on the table for some. Share your lunch. Yeah. I would like... Would you like some of my bread? I can give you half. Sure, I'll take all I can get in this place. Eat breath. Ah. Oh. This bread is hard to rock. Get up. So what is my... Society or... If your body falls below 30, it triggers weak body. If your mind falls below 30, it triggers weak mind. Oh shit, I've only got two. Oh, I need to eat something else. Uh, five of 20. When your digestion reaches two, you can use the toilet. When it exceeds 20, there is a chance you won't be able to hold it in anymore. Shit. Current focus points is for, uh, 3 out of 5. One point is automatically restored every 60 minutes. Okay, cool. You can befriend gang members. Cool. Um, I'm, in the I'm the middle of the Cook Brothers. Everyone calls me Sticks. The triplets, my big brother, is a bit of a hard ass, but. My little brother works real hard, is a real hard worker. As for me, I'm not too smart, so I always listen to my big brother. Okay. Um, should we see if we can share, get some food from somebody? Are we friends with any of these people? gonna get hungry soon that's the problem uh, what do I do I have aha I can have a cookie eat both of them all right so now it should be okay yeah what's the chocolate bar do or caramel bar hmm Okay, right, let's listen in to some conversations. Just do as I ask and I'll make it worth your while. It's an honour to serve the Sharp Tooth Gang. Cut the crap and listen to what I want you to do. You'll probably know that the Bigfoot Gang and the Black Core Gang are in a dispute over the fee or the smuggling route. Yeah, they could even end up going to war. Good, then I have a little gossip I need you to spread around, preferably to Jumbo and Caesar. I think I get what you mean, so what is it? Listen up, it's simple. Whispers. Meow, that, that is smart. What are you guys talking about? The money I owe the Black Core Gang is due today. I should have known not to buy... It's damn bonds. I haven't even seen a single cent so far. Calm down, buddy. Investing requires patience. Some investors require that it received the dividends today. It also should arrive in a few days. I can't even wait one day. I want to withdraw my money right now. Come on, a term bond. You know what term means? Mm -hmm. Can I give him money? Assault? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, you may want to learn some prison self-defense. Sorry, I'm not interested. Okay, but boxing's also a great way to get in shape. Just think of how hot you'll look if you turn your flab into muscles. Let me clear on this. It's not boxing that I'm not interested in. It's you. I'm sorry, but you're not my type. 
Obviously the kangaroos into boxing. Uh, Bill and Evan, let's listen to this. Hey, we agreed. Whoever finished eating first gets the bell barbell this afternoon. What, you want to back out because you lost? Uh, you call that winning? The rules, you have to chew before swallowing. You didn't even bite it. That horn of your of yours block your view or something? Want me to spit it out right now and we'll see if the bread's still a hole? Don't think I don't know. You've been regurgitating it and chewing it up again. <laughs> okay. Uh, Diego and Tony. Hey man, bro, buddy. Uh, cut it out, I told you, no credit. You're bleeding me dry, I gotta cut you off. But we're Bigfoot gang bros and Sally's. You really wanna be so cold? Yeah, I am, now stop bothering me. I don't want you to ruin me. Status of the chewing gum has ended. Uh, what was it? Mind of Charisma. Okay. Who's this Pikmin? Right, who are we going to talk to? Or should we even bother? What about this panda? What, what are you doing? It's always a pleasure to get greet a friend from afar. Oh, the name's Lee San. But my friends call me Old Lee. Old Lee, that's pretty easy to remember. Today marks the tenth year of my incarceration. This decade has flown by in the blink of an eye. Really? You don't seem all down. Oh, life is has both happiness and sadness. Why wear sadness on one's face? You can still have happiness after ten years in this place. I must say I admire your attitude. An ancient philosopher once said a wise man seeks neither a full belly nor a comfortable home. Furthermore, even with in these prison walls, there is a place where I can be free. A place where you can be free? The kitchen afternoon leads to a place of freedom, good and true. Perhaps if fortune favours you, happiness will come into view. Is that sound original? Your friend old Lee, the panda, this rapport will help you. A middle-aged panda whose real name is Lee Hong Zong and loves to adorn his speech and poetry and proverbs. He has been inside for 10 years but seems to be content. Through his poems he revealed that there's a hidden place where he can be free in the prison. He's a heavy drinker and claims that it is impossible for him to get drunk. Even in prison he, is always he has ways of making sure he has good booze. Last one's over, stop loitering, get out around here and get out of here. Afternoon's recreation time, I can finally get some fresh air. But the yards look pretty small. There's a map on the fence, I should check it out. Right, okay. No return to the main building before 7 uh, uh, 5.30. Okay. So, where should we go? I guess for the bleachers to begin with to see who we can meet. At least there's quite a few places to kill time. A wait pit, a general building, and even a strap I'll check them out. Got yard map, this official map produced by the prison shows the yards built into facilities as well as recreation times oh uh that was it right yeah work out take a walk around the general building and go to the chapel after this recreation time during the inmates during which inmates have to stay outside the main building supposedly even if it's raining but the good thing is that there's lots of activities so Take a walk around and maybe you can find something. If you can't find a place, just look at the map. I have a bad feeling, feeling something bad's about to happen. Hey, new fish. 
You talking to me? Of course, who else would I be talking to? Uh, what do you want? I don't have enough for lunch. I want to buy some snacks from the machine. I've got a of money. That's a shame. What's that got to do with me? Huh? I want to give you a chance to help me out. Give me half the money in your pocket. And I'll let you pass through here. Or else, or else what? I teach some pri uh, prison equity. Uh, teach you real hard. Just like he's trying to extort me for money. I guess I can't expect peace and safety. Persuade to let you go. We need free reputation for that. Get tough with him. Hand over the money. Uh, get tough with him. Fighting is no joke. Should I really do it? Yeah, I want to see what fighting is all about. You just messed with the wrong guy. Oh, this often is going to be more interesting than I thought. If you can take half my health, I'll let you go today. See what you got. You have agility, so you go first. Okay, attack. Okay, so cut is 84% accurate. Not sure what that 18% is. Damage, maybe? Rest, you can turn. Oh, yep. Yeah. Fighting moves. Use item. Oh, that's crit chance. Okay. You have trouble keeping your balance when wielding a weapon. That's fine, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not wielding one. Uh, attack your opponent with a with your bare hands, dealing 9 to 11 damage. Cut. When you hit an opponent, there's a 50% chance that he will receive a layer of bleed. Oh. Fuck, he's... Hmm. <laughs> don't have any items to use. Okay, he's just used Enhanced World Energy and Ambush. I don't know what that means. I don't have any fighting moves. He dodged it. Damn it. I dodged it. Right, half his health. If I hit this one, I win. Oh, you bastard. Yeah, fuck you. Oh shit, not bad fish. I underestimated you. That's all for today, but you'll be seeing me again real soon. He staggers away, it seems he threw a hefty punch. Phew, I still have my money. I hope I don't run into any more trouble today. I won't be this lucky every time. Um, Let's have a look. Uh, is there a way of checking my health? Hmm. Oh, I've got 10 experience for that as well. Add skill points. Oh, I see. I, I understand now. So... Do I? I'm not quite sure I do. But uh, let's just move on. Right. Any machine? Let's... Hmm, let's buy something. Buy a couple of cookies. What about... Hmm. I think I just need cookies to be honest. Get two cookies. Um wanna make sure my society stays up, which is at currently at three. Should be five now. Yeah, good. 
Right, what's this? There are some plants growing on the ground. Surely no one will mind if I pick them, right? Just because you're in prison doesn't mean you can't satisfy your green farm. Plants grow near damp locations in the yard like vents and fire hydrants. I resist mushrooms and mint are all valuable plants that can be eaten as medicinal herbs or used as crafting greens, but weeds take up space to prevent other plants from growing. So pull them out as soon as you see them. Plants grow automatically every day. The lusher they are, the more items you can get when you pick them up. But other prisoners aren't stupid. They also have eyes on these plants. So when a very lush plant, when a plant is very lush, pick it as soon as possible. Rain will make plants grow quicker. Jewel scarabs can sometimes be found in very lush plants. If you're lucky, you might just get one, meet one. So that took ten minutes. Okay. Weeds here are so tall. I guess no other plants will grow here if I leave them like this. Flat weeds. And pulling weeds takes five minutes. Okay. I didn't eat, eat enough for lunch. Who was that? Henry. He looks like a bear. Okay. I, I'm really enjoying this so far. This is uh, very, very interesting. Um, though I do need to take a break, so once I've done this, where's this go? Chapel. Uh, okay, so it's not there every day, it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Remain quiet. The bins to talk to each other. Let's go to Montana. It's kindly supported by the church, the fire of the forest, so any acts of blasphemy will be considered a serious offence. Okay, that is one of my things that I need to do though, isn't it? Go to this chapel, yeah. What does it say? Praying restores mind. Uh, my mind's still pretty good at the moment. I think. Uh, uh, where is it? This one. Yeah. Uh, leave it for now. What's this? There's one on this building and the door and the windows are locked. How mysterious. Hmm. Wonder what that is. General building, I guess, place for indoor activities. Right, I'm going to take a break. I'll be back shortly. Right, I'm back. Let's go. Um... Rudolph the reindeer, of course. This weeds. Hmm. I want to spend a bit more time doing something else. Mushroom? I haven't picked any mushrooms yet, I don't think. Nice. Uh, what was over in this way? Um... Toilet. Okay, let's go see what's happening at the toilet. Oh, what's this? Search, yeah. See if we can find anything. Oh, what's this? Lumber. When equipped as a weapon, endurance cost 14, one attack power plus one. Worn. The attack power provided by the weapon is weakened. Well, on when you deal critical hits, stuns on your opponent. For one turn, but only deals 10% extra damage. Let me read that again. When you deal a critical hit, stuns your opponent for one turn, but only deals 10% damage. Okay. Long handle current grants an extra 5% hit rate. Nice. Okay. But it's also a material. So, oh, durability. I mean, I think we can gather what that is. Yeah. As you would expect. This is tries to open door. I can't open the door and there's a stench inside. Okay. Search, yeah. What else we got in here? Oh, wow, loads of stuff. Nice. Uh portable toilet, five dollars per use. 
door opens and like automatically after payment. Even the toilets cost money. Now what's this? It looks like a vent. But it didn't trigger a quest. I guess it can't be used in a demo. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Let me know. That's good to know. Right. Let's go to the... Oh, have you got a quest, have you? What do you want, fish? Gang matters. The sharp tooth gang controls the prison's basketball court and TV room. He's the boss, Alex the Lion. You want something from the sharp tooth gang, fish? Uh, learn about gang quests. Learn about the gang store. Um... Uh, let's not bother at the moment. I, I let's, let's just leave. We'll come back to him after. Let's go to the um, chapel first. Get that done and out of the way. Stop some listens. I can faintly hear the people praying. Seems there's a lot of devout prisoners in here. I never thought I'd find such solemn in a place here. It makes me want to pray too. Is that Kermit the Frog? <laughs> Grey. What's this? A donation box in the prison. So this is a test from the Father of the Forest. Let's give ten dollars. And report with you plus one. Anderson, who is that? Oh, it's the Chaplain. Chapel Guard? Carved wooden door. Oh! Hey, get away from that door. Damn, he saw me. I didn't realise that was a bad thing, I'm sorry. Oh, merciful father of the forest, please hear my prayer. Please use your shade to cover my shortcomings. Please use your morning dew to cleanse me of my sins. May your commandments be a mirror in the eyes of the faithful. May your protection be a fire in the eyes, hearts of the faithful. May your grace be a nectar on the tongues of the faithful. May your fruits forever flourish, so it may be. Note that this prayer has been newly revised by the Central Diocesan Prayer Committee and has been approved by the Archbishop. Pray. It's a charisma test. Okay. O oh, merciful Father of the forest, please hear my prayer. May your fruits be forever flourish. I finish praying. Rest or get up? Uh, rest. Uh, sure, let's just rest till then. So it's closer to... Closer to going back inside time. Right, now let's learn about these um, gang quests. Learn about gang quests. You want to do a job? That's what I like to hear. I just happen to find, have a few jobs for an outsider like you. But it's not good. I hate failure. So if you take the job, you better not mess up. Learn about the gang store. As one of the three major gangs, we have a number of supply lines. Okay, let us bring all sorts of good stuff in here. Uh, you can pay to order stuff, and after headcount the next day, you'll find it under your bed. Cool, let's see what they've got. Ah, I've got some materials. Got a medicine glass shank, a cat pin up. <laughs> cool. Uh, they've got quite a lot of shit. Cocaine, what, no, canine tooth necklace, but that completely wrong. Um, snap gun, lock picking tool, oh, members only, oh that's a shame. Um, okay, well, let's view the gangress. 
Special delivery. Special delivery. Bill the Buffalo of the Bigfoot gang has been getting more and more cocky since he beat our guy in the last boxing match. Then two days ago he cut... Excuse me. <coughs> He's cutting line in the cafeteria. Just like it's time to teach him a lesson. He needs to be learn he needs to learn that being all brawn and no brains doesn't work in here. Since he likes to cut in line in for food, we'll send him a little takeout delivery. I need someone to hide a bag under his bed. In the cell and report back to me. He's in cell block A. Look for the sign on the wall. Go to Bill Buffalo's cell. Uh press and hold to accept. I will indeed. What's in the bag? Something nice to make him sorry he ever mess with us. Receive a serious bag. The, bar, the bag that the Shark Tooth Gang wants to plant and build Buffalo Cell. Remember, curious to get a cat? Although you're not a cat, heck, you're not even a feline. Yeah. Reward is 15 likes and $80. That's pretty good. We will do that. Actually, does it say, like, when? Does it give me a time? Uh, no, okay. So I'll just have to do it when we get back, go back inside. Um, Ray. Is it, was it? Ray is, I know what's up, Phantom. Is it Ray that is our cellmate? I can't remember. John the Tiger. This, that's the main building, yeah, we can't go there yet. Frank. Is it Frank? No, it's Bill the Buffalo, isn't it? Yeah. Jumbo. What do you want, little fishy? Gang matters. Do gang quests. Two days ago, we asked Walter the Skunk to cook up a new batch, but that rat bastard didn't just refuse, he snitched to the guard, so I sent someone to teach him a little lesson in the bathroom, but the guy took things a little too far and put a little snitch in the infirmary. Now the whole, it's a whole big thing and the guards are investigating it. I need a soldier to take the heat so the whole gang doesn't get involved. Turn yourself into Bruce and confess. Hmm, that would get me 20 likes, but only 50 only 50 uh, cash. I'm not really that interested because I imagine it'll put me on bad terms with um, the guards. Hmm, locks. But it seems really lively inside. Like if someone opened the door, but stop coming from behind the door. Stop shouting, you got the entrance fee? Entrance fee? Even this costs money? You're kidding, right? This is the Black Core Gang territory. Anyone who's not in the gang has to pay. That's the rule. It's possible to do anything in this town hall without money. Nah. No answer. It must be empty. A voice suddenly comes from behind the door. Who are you? The new guy. You made me jump. I thought there was no one inside. You're right. There shouldn't be anyone. So who are you? I'm a prisoner. Now I'm a ghost. But... I'm here as the barbershop owner. Barbershop? I was right, I said I'm a ghost. There's, there's nothing I can't do. I don't... I've been open for over half a decade. I mainly do hair and tattoos. But I've had to temporarily close because of recent renovations. I assume I need someone to take care of my split ends on my hairs. I've closed my main business for now, but I'll have a few sidelines, like posting quests and selling items you might be interested in. Jesus, the paper slides out from under the door. Picks up the paper and reads it, huh? I've been over for a long time, so people always ask me about things. Over time, this place became a quest posting centre for inmates. And all of clients pay to take care of things for them, and I take a cut. Sounds like a pretty good business. What I just gave you is the most recent request. 
deplete it in your own money or reputation. It's a much faster way of earning money than working. If you think you've got what it takes, take the quest and give it a try. Barbershop quest. Oh, it seems you've discovered a secret institution. The quests posted here usually offer generous rewards, but some of them have time limits and the quest will end when the time runs out. You may also, you may, you may get do-overs in video games, but this is real life. So if you fail or abandon the quest, it will never come back. Tip news spreads like wildfire in the joint, so your reputation will decrease if you fail or abandon a quest. You'll also lose mind due to humiliation. Okay, what you got? Uh, Jailhouse Cupid, Nightmare Novel, and Left Foot Fetish. <laughs> Uh, Jailhouse Cupid. My girlfriend of the year is coming to visit me and I'm going to take the chance to propose to her. She loves flowers so I want to give her some irises. A speciality of the forest. She'll be so touched, but I'm a devout believer in the father of the forest. I couldn't possibly pick flowers from my own hands. So, for any brave man who's not afraid to incur his wrath, I'm offering you a reward for this difficult task for me. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I don't mind thank you for a while. We'll come back. Oh, is that an iris there? Yeah. There we go. Deliver a quest. Go housekeeping. Battles are all intact. I think the client will be satisfied. Here's your payment, Cupid. Nice. Right, let's look at the other ones. The Nightmare Novel. I swear absolutely no one can finish reading this book called The Awakening of Cthulhu. Cthulhu? Sure. Uh, not because it's too hard, but because it's too scary. I just think the first trap... I just read the first tra chapter, and now I'm afraid to get up at night to piss. If anyone thinks he's not a coward, read this book. I'm willing to pay him it for the emotional damage. If I remember correctly, it's the first book on the left in the fiction bookshelf. Okay, it, there doesn't appear to be a time limit for this one, so we may as well take it. Can it really be that scary? Oh. Damn, okay. So we've got to, we've got to finish that quest first. Let's put it this way. The joint, what? In the joint, being sure and of stuff is, isn't usually a problem. It's having too much stuff, especially when you don't have anywhere to hide contract. It's stressful, believe you me. It'd be a shame if you had to give stuff away or destroy it because you don't have anywhere to put it. But luckily, I have channels for selling things on, so I started a business, buying stuff from the guys in here. I buy all kinds of stuff for a fair price. Even contraband is no problem. Sounds like I can bring useless things here to sell. You've found a place to sell your items, but the owner knows you have nowhere else to go, so you won't get much. Uh, you'll get a lower price for what you bought them for. And he's not open for just just for you. So there's a limit to how much money he can pay for each things each day. Cool, right. I could sell him the mysterious bag. That'd be funny. Uh, right, anyway. Moving on. Right, what else we got? Should we talk to Henry? He's in a gang. I'm hungry again. My friend. I'm a little hungry again. How can you belch and be hungry? It's my stomach. I should know if I'm hungry or not. I have to eat more in one meal than you do in a whole day. And it's almost winter. If I don't eat more, I'm not able to hibernate for long enough. But this is a prison. There's no head count. There's a head count every day. How can you hibernate? I'll let Henry the Black Bear teach you something very important. When I want to hibernate, all I have to do is find a prison guard and kick him up the arse. Uh, he'll get me a nice VIP room in Seg. Then I can sleep for as long as I want. That's a good idea, I guess. You've befriended Henry the Black Bear. His rapport will help you. A simple, honest-looking bear who is always down because you can never get enough to eat. As winter approaches, he has started to prepare for hibernation. When you express your doubts about whether he can 
you will be able to sleep. While in prison, he reveals a surprising solution, segregation. And all he needs to do to get private room for a nice long sleep is be up a guard. He will be the lucky one this time. Cool, right now we can go back to the main building, yeah? It's almost six. Time to go back to the main building for dinner. I didn't expect this place to be so lively at night. I'll go check out the nightlife before I go back to myself. Prison nightlife. Night has fallen and you've been cooped up again. The main building is a hive of activity at night. Inmates crowd around the food court, cart like vultures. I'm afraid that they'll get a slightly smaller, smaller portion of dinner than someone else. The bathroom is only open every evening. So if you miss it, you'll smell stinky the next day. The TV room on the second floor has an old TV you have to pay but it's a cheap way to buy a little pleasure. Uh, collect dinner, go to the bathroom, take a shower, better bring a bar of soap. Uh, watch TV in the TV room on the second floor. Last mission is nine, don't miss out. Okay, well first let's go fill it, do our quest this one. Buffalo Bill Cell, okay. How do I know which one is Buffalo Bill's? Oop, I just walk into any apparently. Oh, okay, it's got the names on here. Rudolph is on his own by the looks of it. Okay, uh, none of these. Ah, Buffalo Bill. Ah, uh, Peak. This is Bill Sale. I should make the delivery. Plant. Oh, I've only got 42%. Why? Agility. Do I have anything that can up that? Uh, organize. Thank you. Doesn't look like I've got anything that can be used for agility. Hmm, what's this? Oh yeah, I got the map now. Okay, let's try it. Hope no one sees me. Yeah, success. Here it's done, no one should suspect a thing. I'm really cross about what's in the bag, I should have taken a peek. No, I shouldn't have. Probably poop. Report back to the lion boss. Okay, and we only need to go to... It's in the general building. Okay, so not this one. Yeah, this one's my cell. Craft, what can I craft? Okay, so I'll get two paper clips, I can make a lockpick. Medicine, basic screwdriver. Okay, so I can't really make anything at the moment. Let's Except for hidden compartments, the cupboard can only store items with violation to or less. How do I know it's a violation? Ah, one, okay. So does the fact that I've got three of them count as a violation of three, or does it just count as one each? No idea. Two, we can put that in there. Uh, put all of them in there. Yeah. Keep the caramel bar on us. And the chewing gum. Although actually I could just put this in the, hang on, in 
there for now. Same with that. If I get something I actually want to hide, then I'll start like moving it about. Right. Uh, what quests have we got? Report back to the lion. Yeah. Uh, can I make a call? Oh, somebody's on the phone. That's oh, Bob. You doing, Bob? You said it wouldn't. You said it would be three years, but it's been three, then three more, and then three more. It's almost ten years now. I want. Once this job's done, well, I'll quit right now, you hear me? I'm still looking for him. It takes time and you haven't exactly helped. And the thing I asked for, find a way to get in here ASAP, otherwise you, I won't take the blame if it doesn't get done. Hmm. Um. wonder where... wonder where Bob is. What, what do I need to do for the nightlife one? Uh, oh, I didn't do workout and I didn't do take a walk around the general building. Um, collect dinner, okay. Let's do that. Um, how do I collect dinner? Is it this way? Look, the humid air the humid air is thick and of testron. Uh the floor is very slippery, gotta be careful not to fall and hit my head. Bathroom. Even though you're in prison you should still try to clean. Um presentable. And you can't do that without bathing. If you don't shower for two days you'll start to smell and your prisoner will be greatly reduced. Showering will re restore stamina and use things soap will restore your body. You don't use a shower once a day. After all, you don't want to get a reputation as a guy who spends too much time hanging around the bathroom. Is that? Hey, it's Bill. Bill, Bill Bro, can I ask you a favour? What's up, short stuff? I have run into a little trouble. I need the big foot gang protection. And you're going to see Jumbo protection costs $50 for three days, you know the rules. The um, problem is I only have $20 right now. Then you know why are you wasting my goddamn time? Easy now, I don't... Excuse me. <laughs> Whistling through my teeth. Uh, easy now, I don't need three days, just the night. I'll pay $20 straight to you. Tell me what the trouble is when I finish showering, then I'll decide. Can I talk to Bill? Hey, what are you calling me for? A friend? Hi. Oh, Hi, what do you mean hi? You looking for trouble? I'm just saying hi, what's the problem with that? What's the problem, huh? It's a big problem. You new here? That ain't how things work in the big house. Hi, hey, hello. Yeah, they are all thing. what? They all have their own meanings. Unless you want a beating, you better figure out before you open your mouth. Um, I still don't get it. What's the difference between those words? Did I hear you right? Did you just say, um? No, you really pissed me off. I'll give you one last shot. chance. Use the wrong word again and I'll have no choice. I, uh... Okay, I better not say anything. You befriend to build a buffalo. His reward will help you. The hot-tempered buffalo, his curved horns and flared nostrils all say, don't mess with me. He seems to have spent many years inside, and the way he speaks and interacts with other inmates follows a very strict set of unwritten rules. You need to be very careful when talking to him, as you never know when you might step into his minefield. Um, it wasn't him I needed to speak to, was it? He's the guy I just put the stuff in his cell. Yeah, fucking idiot. <laughs> Never mind. What about you? Who are you? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Deliver a quest. That's delivery. Good job. You don't have to worry about the rest. We'll take it from here. I'll make sure the guards give that idiot buffalo an extra large helping. 
I don't have any quests right now. Find something else to do. A match. It's not easy to find a lighter in this joint. Uh, as they say, necessity is the mother of all invention. I could just buy a glass shank. Yeah, I might do that actually. What about a, a hat? Plus two points when stealing. Okay. I'm not a member, so I can't get any of this stuff. No. Right, well, I might should I get a glass shank? I can't remember how you make one. It's only 60, sure. So that'll appear after, is it, what did he say? Is it after the morning roll call? I think so. Um, uh, let's take a shower. Uh, use soap or quick wash? Use soap. I don't have any soap. Oh, okay, quick wash it is then. Ah, oh, there's my refiller. Right. Uh, collect dinner, okay. Oh, is this, okay. Is this where I get dinner? Yeah, you'll be in the right place. I'll make the best waffles from this joint. Are waffles the only thing for dinner? There's nothing wrong with waffles, they're tasty and filling. There's nothing more important than prison than full stomach. If you're willing to pay, I can add a spoonful of cream for you. Try it, I'm sure you'll like it. Your late dinner's over for today. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> but there's still so much in the food cart. Hey, when I say it's over, it's over. Or are you looking to start something? No, I just haven't eaten dinner yet. How about this? I still have some of my personal stash. If you want, I could sell you some. Um, ask about waffles. You want to know if people get tired of eating nothing but waffles for dinner? Well, even though they are all waff they're all waff what? Even though they're all waffles, I make a different flavour each day. Monday is paprika, mustard, lemongrass. Okay, I think I get it. Buy a waffle. Uh, yeah, add some cream. That's a big blob of cream on your waffle. We're gonna love it, I guarantee it. Right, let's make the phone call now. You can make two more calls today, insert $100. Connected. Phew, looks like it works. They confiscate my business card holder, but luckily I memorized Reese off summer. Of course, there's also another number I can't forget. Maggie's. Who should I call? Uh, Reed. That's the quest. Reed Law, your reliable lit litigation specialist. It's me, Thomas. Oh, finally, I was worried something bad had happened. It's not easy to call from here. So how are things going with the case? Oh, I was just about to tell you the appeal fell through. I don't know if Angela did something or if it was pressure from the mayor, but the retrial was declined. I have to wait a month before I can file another appeal. But as you know, the mayor election mayoral election is in 21 days even if the court does accept it it's hopeless i expect it as much don't this hard i have some good news good news do you remember the anonymous phone call you received the night before you were arrested i remember it was a woman she said she had evidence that the mayor was taking bribes I get calls like that every day from scammers selling false information i know you've fallen for a, for a few times and gotten screwed out of a lot of money, but that one could be real. Remember where she said, remember where she wanted to meet? Little bar called Baroness. Hmm, rings a bell. The investigation has uncovered a bar that has some connection with the mayor. But I can't explain, probably over the phone, we need to meet in person. You only, you may have to wait a few days. The prison said there are so many visit requests 
that all the slots are filled full and even lawyers need to go through on a waiting list. When it rains it pours. I know you're anxious. Do you think you could possibly ask one of the guards to see if there is a way to bypass the waiting list? Might be worth a try. What else have I got to do, right? Then we'll come at this from both sides. I'll carry on looking for clues. You make sure you be careful in there. If we really get our hands on the evidence of the, of the crimes, this is no time to go down without a fight. So now I have to find a way to solve the visitation problem. Ask a guard about visitation details. Uh, let, let's call Maggie. One, three, eight, one, nine. I need to work up the courage to call her after all we broke up six months ago. Hello. Hi Maggie. Thomas, did I hear that right? right? Yes, yeah, me. Well, I didn't expect you to call. There are no people that you're in prison, is that true? I'm calling you from prison payphone right now, but it's another set up. I thought as much. You can be an arsehole sometimes, but I know you'd never do anything like that. I'm so glad you believe me. Why are you still mad at me? Uh, I'm glad you believe me, Thomas. Now you say that to me a little late, don't you think? Maggie, I'm calling today to apologise. We were both angry back then, but I shouldn't have said that stuff. Did I hear that right? Is the great reporter actually admitting that he was wrong? It looks like prison can really change a person. Um, can you forgive me, Maggie? What? You think after six months of radio science you can get back to me just for saying sorry? If so, you're sorely mistaken, I'm not a pushover anymore. Maggie, I don't expect you to forgive me so easily. It's just everything I've been through lately has made me realise a lot of things. When I get out, I'll put my work aside and spend more time with you. Go up to the roof to paint, go to a punk concert, even go bungee jumping. That is if you're willing to be with me. You don't have to answer me now, I'll call again, all right. Okay, I'll remember everything you just said. That's enough for today. I want to take some quiet time for myself. You take care of yourself in there. Okay, bye. You take care of yourself, too. Disconnect for an eye. Maggie, maybe I still have a chance to win her back. Uh, okay. Mag's affection for you gone up by 15%, basically. Uh, what's this? Keys? Letters? Oh. Uh, 30 plus 4 and mine plus 5. More fat, more flavour. What's my slip through it at the moment? <laughs> Zero, wow. Good job about this one. Character suggestion is at 11. Okay. I need to go to the toilet at some point. Okay, uh, let's go. Watch TV, that'll get me a hundred of whatever the, that skill is. Intelligence, apparently. Uh, what do I have? 10, 45, 20 and 20, okay. Alright. The door's locked tight, I can't go upstairs here at night. Uh, what was it? The second floor. Oh, of course. It's the American way. Wanna watch TV? The Sharp Tooth Gang runs the TV room. Ask about TV rules. There's something different on every night. For a small fee, you can relax and watch for an hour. The latest submission is 9 o'clock. If you're late, you miss out. Ask about TV schedule. Mondays and Thursdays are movies. Sundays are basketball games. And the other days are North Park. If you can't remember, just check the poster there. We spent a lot of money getting it. That's everything. TV is one of the few mental escapes in available in prison. 
Don't feel guilty about indulging. Okay, uh, each restore your mind, movies, tell other people's stories, but you can also see yourself in them. You can learn movie abilities. Oh, sitcoms, low, low brow, but it will help you restore your mind. You gain experience by watching baseball ga uh, basketball games. Your gambling thing can also make it a little more interesting. Ah, okay. Tonight's movie is The Corleone Family. Sure. 40. Michael, my Mikey, do as I tell you. Give this money to Tor, then make him get on the boat and leave. But Pop, the bass betrayed you. Could you want to give him money? Why not just whack him and get done with it? My boy, you're too young to understand. Think about it. If I give a million bucks to someone who betrayed me, everyone who stays loyal to me knows they'll get hundreds of millions. I still don't get what you mean, Pop. It's okay, my boy. You will when you're sitting where I am. I can't believe he spent a million dollars just to teach his son a lesson. I guess only Vito the Leopard would go that far. Now I think I understand why he was able to build such a, cr a huge criminal empire. We reward grants an extra 50% when increasing reputation. And even now, maybe later. Uh, I'm going to click maybe later to see how that works. Uh, you've got a new skill. You'll find prison extremely difficult if you don't have any skills. Skills can be found on its own tab in abilities. Now you just need to enable it. Enabling the skill will take up a certain number of skill points. Ah, oh, okay. You can experience the corresponding type to add more skill points. Tip. You can forget unwanted skills at any time. This will cost some experience. Right, okay. Uh, you've gained enough experience, now it's time to activate a specialty. In abilities, there are 10 specialties under each attribute tab, just waiting for you to activate them. Activating special specialities under different tabs cost experience of the corresponding type, and the amount of experience required will increase with the number of specialties activated. Work hard to hone your skills and make a name for yourself in the big house. This is incredibly complex for what <laughs> I was expecting. Uh, not that that's a bad thing, I, I, I quite like it. Uh, what? Um, let's see, okay, so what one did I... Oh, 100 in... Intelligence, okay. Okay. Specialty activated. Right, okay, I see. Oops. Right, so... Activate next specialty will be 100, or I can add a skill point, which will give me 5 out of 5. But considering I haven't got one yet, I might as well. Right, so we'll, we'll, let's have a look at these. Multi-threaded brain, you can accept three simultaneous quests from each quest giver. Oh! That would have helped earlier with the, um... The special, the secret missions. Anyway. Uh, combat prep restores focus points by two at the start of each fight. Okay. Focus point cap plus one. At the very least, you'll be unbeatable in a staring contest. Uh, conceal adds an extra pocket slot. You can... Never have too much storage. Concentration. You can use concentration move when fighting. Use keeps your eyes fixed on your opponent, increasing your hit rate by 20% until the end of the fight. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh, AK points plus two when performing knowledge actions. This goes up by an extra one for every book, you, uh, free books you read. Basic medicine. You can craft pressure bandages laxatives and sleeping pills performing the wrap action in a fight will additionally heal you up by an amount equal to your intelligence topped the list of the most useful prison skills in 10 years running second strike if you do not get to go first in a fight your attack power will increase by two and you will gain a shield equal to 10 percent of your max health as compensation that's pretty good but it requires being slow 
and I, I'd, I'd rather be faster, if I'm honest. Um, I think... We're going to go for multi-threaded brain. Where are we? Hmm. What's my pocket at the moment? Okay, so I've got eight. Eight slots, or technically double, because some of these only take up half a slot. Um, so I don't really need any more of that. Um, I think we'll go with Egghead. Points plus two when performing knowledgeable actions. Yeah. There we go. So, um, now when we do a knowledgeable action, we get plus two to the points. Chat gift trade. Hmm. Got five. I don't know why it says chat gift trade there. Is that saying what what actions I can do? Because it seems to be with all of them. Hmm. But anyway, um, what's this? Need financial services? Learn about financial services. Even for ism, money is still important, right? That's why the Black Claw can provide loans and savings services. Ask about loans. If you're short on money, you can come to ask for a loan. You won't charge much interest. And you have three days to do what you got to do and then pay the money back with interest. Sorry, I, I was distracted by what on earth is happening at the top there. Is, it, is that... They've been hypnotised or something. Anyway, a word of warning. The Black Core Gang hates it when folks don't pay on time. So you better not try it. Ask about savings. Not everyone here is, in, is broke. Some are even rich. If you don't feel safe having too much money on you, or if you want to make your money grow, then save with us. We pay high interest, but you have to leave the funds with us for three days. That's everything. That's pretty good. I like um, the interest thing, but... I don't have much money at the moment, so don't waste my time. Gang matters, few gang requests, friendly reminder. Um, everyone should repay their debts, but there are always wise guys who think they're the exception. Kevin the Koala and Eddie the Apostle, for example. The loans were due to be pay, repaid last night, but there's still no sign of the money. I need to send someone to remind them that it's best not to get test the patients of the black core can uh, if they continue to be forgetful I'm glad to sew reminders into their pouches hmm am I gonna have to fight them to remind them because I'd rather not get on the bad side of I mean I don't think they're part of a gang though are they so sure let, let's let's do it Hmm, I might be able to persuade them. Let's hope that we can do it by just talking to them. Rather than... Um, so, the koala and the opossum. Uh, what was their names? Kevin and Eddie. Bill. Yeah, what is happening over here? Miguel. Oh, shit, I can see inside their pockets. That's weird. Rolling two ones result in critical success instead of critical failure. Ooh, reverse hypnosis. He's got a toothbrush shank. Oh. Um. What's this one? 
storage closet. Okay, what's in there? A boxing ring. This place has real prison vibe. Jumbo the elephant. How much do you want for the info? Well, it could give you complete control of the kitchen smuggling route. I think you know better than me how important that is. Ah, if you tell me what the Shark Thief gang's planning, I won't go higher than 200%. If you just tell me, okay. But if you can change the info and spread it to Black Core Gang, I can add another 300 after it's done. Change the what? Listen good, it's simple. That's also a pretty good move, huh? Why you say also? Uh, no reason, it's just habit. Oh, the full guy one. I don't really want to do that one. Frank, want to give it a try? Learn about boxing matches. You can be easier. First, I'll let them with me, then beat the crap out of your opponent on the day of the fight. If you win, Bigfoot Gang will give you prize money. Sounds good, but I'd like to take to know a few more details. There are two sessions per week. One on Monday to Wednesday, and one on Thursday to Saturday. for are closed on Sundays. The first day of each site is the sign up day. The second is the betting day, and the third is the fight day. Also, if you sign up, you'd better show up for the fight on time. The Bigfoot Gang doesn't like being set up. Ask about the rules. Uh, doesn't like too many rules, there's just two things to remember. Fights are one on one, you can't ask for help, no weapons allowed. Don't give a crap how you use dirty tricks in the ring or get up to any stage of stuff outside the ring. Cool. Um, check the opponent. Here's the sign up. What's it? Ah, that's the kangaroo. He has reduced damage by taken by 10% when fighting. When you suffer bleed, you will only take half of the damage. Oh, okay, so you could be quite a tough tough guy to beat. Uh, he also has Whirlwind Plus. Increase the damage of unarmed attacks by 30%, reduce your endurance. He's going to be really tough to beat. I think, um, I don't think we will bother. Um, yeah, leave. Um, right. The ring-tailed lemur. Let's see if we can go find these two people to beat up. Oh, let's listen in on this convo. You really want to buy my mucus? You ain't going to do anything weird with it, are you? I don't want to get in trouble, croak. Don't worry. I'm just trying to improve my formula for a new drug. It works like... I think, if it works like I think, it will. I might have an anesthetic effect. Ooh. I have a bad feeling about this crook. That's good to know. Let's see. He's a chemistry professor. Oh. That's a little weird, I think. I think they can do something about that camera there. Who's this bloke? Oh, it's Bob. Probably doing something shady if he's in his cell. A pangolian. Or pack up. Pangolin, pangolin, oh, not pangolin, no. Uh, Eddie, you are the person I need to beat up. I wonder if doing that in front of the guard has any sort of effect. 
Let, let's give it a go, see what happens. Talking to yourself, time's running out. Collect the debt. Remind him he has to pay the money back. Hey Eddie, just a friendly reminder, you should probably pay back the money owed to the Black Claw can. What? It's only been a day. They must have mixed up me up with someone else. Ugh, looks like this won't be easy to resolve. Okay, one focus point to re-roll. Let's do it. Yay! Take it easy now. I won't... I just made a mistake as well. I'll pay them back tomorrow. No, right away. Okay, am I, am I out of focus points now, yeah? Oh no, I've still got one, okay. Oh, and actually I'm about to gain one because it's about to be 8 o'clock. Okay. Right, let's see if we can go find... Uh, who do we need to find? Kevin the Koala. There he is. Hey you Lummox, what you the hell are you think you're doing? First you hike the root fees and now uh, now you try to stop collecting my debt? Is that the Bigfoot gang trying to start a war? Good thing you started running your mouth down there, hip squeak. I almost trampled you. Haven't you got anything better to do? Get out of my way, I've got business to attend to. Uh, well, I'm here tonight. Your business will just have to wait. Ugh. Um, I'd like just what? I'd just like to say I'm not trying to bail on my debt. I'm just a little short on cash. I'll pay you back when. I get the money together. The Bigfoot gang's protecting me for two days. Oh, yeah, we saw this happening in the shower, didn't we? Kevin, my little Kevin, do you have any idea what you're doing? You think you can use this lummox to default on Black Gold's gang's debt? I'm more stupid than I thought. Be ready to pay the price. So we're probably gonna have to fight Bill, I imagine. What's he got? Your agility provides crit chance instead of dodge chance. Fuck, he's got a, a club. Um. Hmm. Well, he's gonna be tough, but let's do it. This is bad. Collect the debt. Twenty-eight percent. Time to negotiate with you on behalf of the Black Claw Gang, Claw Gang about paying back the money you owe. Things have been a bit tight lately. Yes, I even lost my underwear in a car game. Looks like I need to have a little chat with him. I am. Yep. Look, I don't really have any money. Turn me upside down and give me a shake if you don't believe me. He's mad, I can't talk to him again today. Okay. Okay, so we we still got two days left. I guess we can see if we can, Oh, actually, let's go to ask a guard about visitation rights. Billy. So I'm... A new prisoner number 1220. Hey, relax, I'm not a hard ass like Bruce. My name's Billy, I'm the deputy captain, I'm responsible for inmates' day to day lives. Um, pleased to meet you, sir. According to prison rules, inmates can come to me every week to get their daily essentials. But to be honest, it's never enough, so inmates usually end up fighting over them. Rest assured, I won't make any trouble. Hey, don't worry. What I mean is, to make life easier for you, I run a small business on the side. A little money can replenish your everyday essentials. Of course, I also sell a few goodies too. Sounds like a win-win situation to me. Do you need anything? Ask about vegetation. Oh, you'll have to ask Bruce. He's in charge of that. 
Uh, okay. Oh, I should have collected the soap from him. Okay, what's Two Face good for? Right. Paper clip, we want that, yeah. And two paper. Okay, nice. Nice. Uh, is that everything collected? Yeah, collect this week, yeah. What other items do we have? Got coffee beans. Hmm. Coffee grinder. Got on your table to grind things. A play pup. Read to convert your current remaining focus points into mind. Each focus point is converted into an impressive four mind. On the outside, our adult magazine sale continues to decline due to popularity of video tapes, but in prison, demand is as high as ever. A uh, handheld game can only be played in bed. Let's put plus five mind. A handheld console with a backlight, as you can play even when hiding under the covers. The battery provides 30 power for electronic devices. A fox spin up to gain 10 charisma experience per hour while you sleep. Oh crap, that's an easy 10 charisma experience, surely. Hmm. No wonder why it's, it's like 200. Um. Okay, he's got a pencil. Uh, oh, I don't want to buy a toothbrush. Bed sheet. Hello, blanket. Cool. Okay. Uh, we'll leave for now, though. Uh, Ruth. Attention, what is it? Uh, visitation. You have a question about visitation? I heard that all the visitation slots are full, and even lawyers need to go on the waiting list. Uh, lawyers, I tell you, even if the father of the forest himself came down here from the sky, he'd have to wait like any everybody else. Last month, some son of a bitch injured the guard at sporting him during visitation. So now security is in visitation is being doubled. Naturally, we we've had to reduce the number of his rooms. That seems like too much of a coincidence. But I really need to see my lawyer. Is there any way I can bypass the waiting list? Of course there is, but my help comes with conditions attached. Conditions? Do you know there is... Do you know that there are three gangs in prisons? One of them is Caesar the Chimps Plank Claw Gang. I need to go into this cell. There should be a backup ledger there. If you can find it and bring it to me, I'll take care of the visitation for you. A ledger, what do you need that for? Don't ask many questions. That's so many questions. It's not your concern. You just have to answer. Will you do it or not? Does he want to use me as a pawn? But I have no other choice right now. I need him so I can see Reed as soon as possible. Uh, I'll bring it. Great. See the cells B205. I'll be waiting. Alright, let's do this. Uh, 205, so I imagine up. Oh, look, it's got a little magnifying glass there. Oops, you mean to walk into that person's cell? Bruce says the ledger should be here, although, do I really want to steal it for him? The cell belongs to the boss of the Black Car Gang. Besides, why would the captain of the guards need to be so sneaky? What's he up to? It's like I'm parachuting blindfolded and I have a feeling I'm about to jump into a bit of fire. If I could think of another way, there's no risk I... Ah, start search. You search high and low, but the ledger is nowhere to be found. It's not on the table or under the bed. The only place left is the locked cupboard. The ledger must be inside, I have to open it. I don't have any tools, so... Never mind on that one. Uh... Right, let's go back to our cell and see what we can craft. Um, let's collect. Uh, 
take all of our nails. Take this as well. Alright, what can we craft? Uh, we can craft a lockpick. A mint roll up. A paper crane. That's basically it, okay. Alright, well, let's craft a lockpick. We need that. Uh, violation is five. Okay. Now then, let's put some stuff away. Uh, the soap. Toothpaste. Toothbrush. Yeah, all of this stuff. Okay. Um. Right. Let's go a lot quick. This cupboard. Here we go. Fifty-eight percent. Ah, oh, dear. One, one more try. Yay! It's a lock now. I can open it. Open. Right, that's the ledger. Um, what's this? A sedative. And some ground coffee. I will take a uh, secret ledger behind, hidden behind Caesar's cell, but to you it's the key to unlocking the door to visit room. This must be the ledger Bruce wants. Opens it and reads. It's a record of the Black Horse Gang uh, outcome of money transfers. The largest monthly amount only has the an account number, pay names blank. Special accounts is Bruce hoping to find something here? But this isn't my concern right now, I'll just take it to him. Nothing useful in here. Lovely. Right, let's go take this ledger to the guard. Get all of this done before bedtime. Whoop, whoop. Right, give him the ledger back. Uh, this should be the ledger you want. I'm impressed you actually found it. Will you hold up your end of the bargain? Don't worry, I always keep my word. I'll go to the fifth station later and get your priority visitation privilege. You're one lucky fish. You can see your lawyer tomorrow morning after headcount. Nice. I've solved the visitation problem now, I just need to wait for tomorrow. Okay, um, let's listen to some conversations while we wait. Hey guys, don't blink. Guess which hand the coin, coin, coin is in. The left, no, the right. Pretty much says it's the right. Are you sure? Of course, don't you anteaters have amazing eyesight? Okay, since you're so sure, I also bet it right. Wait, are you a shill? <laughs> what about you two? What's happening over here? Hey, you sure your information is reliable? It's a lot of money we're talking about. You should just have to take my word for it. Anyway, I'm going to give it a try. I hear there's a single... There are single cells and breakfast buffet. The main thing is I won't be locked up with these guys anymore. Sounds good. I'll find a way to get the money together, save me a place for me. But hurry. An opportunity this good doesn't come along every day. I'll make your current profits look like a small change. And these electric bonds are of yours safe? If the company fails, are you the one responsible? Don't worry, the money is used to invest in the gold mine. The gold's right there in the ground. What could go wrong? Besides, the dividends from the last quarter have already been paid. You can ask Robert if you don't believe me. You made a fortune thanks to me. Okay, I guess I'll go back to my cell. 
Sam, you seem to have a great relationship with your girlfriend. I envy you. Of course, my Nicole's unique. And just to let you know, I got out on parole in two months. I'm going to marry her as soon as we get out. We've already set a date. Not precisely, her mum set a date. But you know what mothers-in-laws are like. So it, I need to keep, make sure I keep my head down these days. If anything goes wrong with my parole, I'm sure I'll lose her. This girl's the only thing on his mind. My Nicole is a little lamb. It feels like... I'm going to faint just thinking about her. A donkey who looks completely ordinary and unexceptional. He plans to keep a low profile for the next two months so that his parole application can go free. According to him, his lovely and charming fiancée Nicole is waiting for him on the outside. They have set a date for their wedding and everything is going as he hopes. He does not want any surprises at this critical time. Alright. So it's really good to iron frame as my bed. The bottom bunk's been taken, so I guess I'll go on top. The bed's where you sleep, but of course it has other functions. You can go to bed after 9. Uh, you have to get up at 7 sharp. Uh, bed, you can improve the quality of your sleep by making your bed. If it's very cold at night, you'll definitely freeze without a blanket. Entertainment, you can also relax in bed if you have magazines or a handheld game. Uh, did, did I get a blanket? I don't think I did. What's this? This paper. Yeah. Hmm. Toilet sink combo, it looks quite advanced. I hope the water doesn't overflow from the sink when the toilet's blocked. Uh, use the toilet. Yeah. When it reaches 20, even the slightest fart could be dangerous. Brush your teeth, just because you're in prison there's no reason. Brushing your teeth is good for the body and charisma. You need toothpaste and toothbrush. Uh, I think I've got that. Yeah, there's toothpaste. There's a toothbrush. Brush your teeth. A perfect smile. Right, so I've got two uses of the uh, toothpaste left. Free yourself of all distractions and get in the zone. We won't keep that on us. Actually, what did that, did that say violation 5 or something? Oh, 2, okay. Okay, let's go to bed now. Make the bed, remove the bed sheet, place the pillow, place a blanket. I don't have any. Right, sleep, what end today? About to hit the sack. Day two. In the morning, I wish I could sleep a little longer. Get up. Someone said, Count, I can't go back to bed now. Alright, let's go to head count. Attention. So I'll download review the head count starting. One, two, three. That's 47 out of 47. All inmates present. No surprises in the head count, that's good. Remember, any surprises for me will mean a word of trouble for you. A uh, real surprise for you. Oh. <laughs> Warden? I was just about to read these fellas your announcement. Why are you here in person? Oh, Captain Bruce. I appreciate your willingness to share the workload. But I prefer to get the news to these kids in, my, in person. It is my duty after all. Despite my leg problems, it's not too much trouble to get here from the administration building. If I could even do that, I'm sure... If I couldn't even do that, I'm sure the board would ask me to retire, wouldn't you say so, Captain Priest? Re retire 
No, I never thought about that. Oh, I know you didn't mean that. Allow me to say a few words to everyone. Oh, yes, of course. Stand out attention. Wooden Clark is about to make an important announcement. Stand up straight and listen carefully. Eyes and ears open. I see our captain is still as spirited as ever. He's taken so much of the burden. He's taken so much of the burden off me. Oh, scanning the prisoners in front of him. Hmm, I've seen some new faces over the last few days. I hope you can all live peacefully in your new home. The announcement I have for you today relates to just that. I hope you all give it your full attention. It's like a package service, okay? Right, okay. Sounds good to me. Hey, some show some gratitude for the warden's kindness. Dismiss. If you stood up so straight during the head count, you really made me want to pin a medal on you. I'm not interested in your medal. You know what I what? The, but okay. Vegetation. Yeah. Now get your ass back to your room. Back to the visit room. But remember, don't go causing any trouble. This is the right time, why isn't he here? Thomas. Uh, attention, I will now repeat the visitation rules if you understand, say I understand. No touch from class petition, no loud noises. The time limit is 30 minutes. Understand. And take your seat, don't try anything funny. I'm watching you. Hi Reed. Hi buddy, I came as soon as I received notes from the prison. How are you? I never thought I would be. it would be so hard to see you. I'm fine, I have food and clothes, I don't have to pay rent, and now I get to see my old friend. Huh, looks like you're doing okay. I came with some words of comfort to comfort you, but I guess I don't. you don't need them right now. To be honest, I'd still like to hear them, but now might not be the time. We only have 30 minutes, we need to hurry. Sure. I know the only thing you want right now is to take down the boss who set you up. As your partner, I feel exactly the same way. So tell me, what clues have you found? Remember I told you that I investigated the Baroness bar? You said there was a lead. Uh, it's the place where the woman calling me about scoop asked to meet. That's right, I did some digging and found out the mayor's former prison the driver was the regular at the bar. Wait, former driver? Bingo. Looks like the prison hasn't dulled your old journalistic instinct. I say for him because the driver who goes by the name of Domino disappeared six months ago. I did everything I could to find about, out about his whereabouts. Eventually, one of my contacts in the police found a files about his prematurely closed case. There was a car crash also six months ago. The driver that died was none other than Domino. The mayor's driver died in a car crash? Strange, right? Even though he was the mayor's driver, the case didn't get any coverage. Even you didn't hear about it. And you're the best reporter I know. So you mean it was hushed up? Whatever the truth is, there's over a hundred bars in the city, but a caller specifically chose the one with Di Domino as a regular baroness. I mean, not just a coincidence. Do you think whoever called that night definitely has something valuable to say? Yeah, even if she. doesn't really have a recording, it might still have something to do with Domino. Then I guess we have to find her. That's exactly why I'm here today. This very curious Baroness was just a relay station. The bartender said she won't be easy to find now that we've missed the meet, unless she has left some other message at the time, like a code or for her identity. Code for her identity? What is it? Do you remember something? I remember that night I took the call. It was late and it was raining outside. Three months ago. Oh. I was just going over the date interviews. 
from the data shows that lung infection rate residents increased by 25% after the chemical plant was built. In the incidence of the skin diseases, the children shot up by 40%. Holy crap. This day, I hope it's not some sales call. Hello? Are you Tom the Woodpecker TV? Yeah, who are you? Get $30,000 in cash. I have. You want. Something I want. I have some... I have evidence that the mayor is taking a bribe. I know you're investigating it. Yes, yeah, since the report, everyone knows I'm investigating it. But I'm not going to lie, I've encountered a lot of people claiming to have information like you. But it always comes to nothing. You think I'm lying? Do you know how much risk I'm taking calling you? Sorry, miss, I'd like to believe you, but I've fallen into too many scams lately. If you felt for them, you weren't smart enough. To, but if you don't believe me, you're stupid. Listen up. I'll only say this once. It's up to you if you believe me or not. I have a tape of the mayor taking a bribe. Bring $30,000 in cash to the Baroness at the Skid Row tomorrow. You can find... Uh, something in the red noise, uh, in, in the red something in front of the apartment building. Just show it bartender when you get there. Remember, I'll only wait for one day. Wait, the red what? You broke up? Oh. <laughs> she was in a real hush to hang, right, rush to hang up. I look for the thing she mentioned, see if I can find anything. Then I'll decide whether or not I believe her. Running cats and dogs, I should have brought my umbrella. Oh, nice. Get to look around out here. Five hundred, of course. What could be redder than that? <laughs> Better not wander off too far. Okay. The red bin, I assume, then. a trash can without actually hide anything in there. Ugh, not even the rain can cover that stench. Pretty sure what I'm looking for is not inside. The billboard with red ink on it. Apartments for rent, etc. It looks like the same. Okay. Although. Has the rent in the building really gone up to two thousand pounds a dollars? I guess I won't be paying fifteen hundred for much longer. The red rose there. A pot of red flowers. Hmm, I wonder if she hides something on a busy street. Should definitely be a good place hiding in place sight. I'll take a look. And the soil in this part seems to have been disturbed not too long ago. I think I found something. Take the thing out of the flower pot. And card, luckily it was buried quite deep and it's still dry. Let's see what it says. Enjoy our late night carnal pleasures. In the name of a cocktail or something. Baroness. That's an interesting name. Huh? What's this? Looks like it's been stamped on. Noisy stamp. It's usually free for a free drink. Okay. Did she leave this because she's afraid I won't be able to find the address? Put the card in your wallet. Just an ordinary business card, although it seems to offer more than just drinks. I guess she's probably just trying to allure, lure me to the bar and leave me dry. If I ever find out what happens tonight, I'll never live it down. So she didn't leave the card because she was worried I wouldn't be able to find the bar. She left it because there's a code on it. I think so. The card has been pattern stamped on the back. At first glance, it doesn't appear to be anything special, but it looks like a maze. I thought it was just the bar's loyalty stamp, but 
so I didn't take any notice of it. The maze, yes, that's what we're looking for. When I, was, when I was an intern, I used to spend lots of time in Alley Girls as a kid pro. The Alley Girls created their own way of soliciting customers to avoid being tested by the police. They take their information like the species age, vital statistics, and simplify them to into line patterns and, of course, their names and where to find them. Then they distribute these patterns in places that are frequented by potential clients, a place like Baroness. Exactly some kind of expensive alley girls embroidered their patterns on hotel napkins with while well, some of the cheaper ones graffiti stairs on alley walls. The one we're looking for had a stamp created on the bar business card, which does make it convenient. If a requirement requires services, the bartender can translate the pattern and such. So that's why she told me to show something to the bartender. It seems that if I take this card back to the Baroness, yeah, I'll be able to inquire about her whereabouts. That business card, so I remember putting it in my wallet. I didn't touch it again after that. Then I had my wallet on me when I got, was arrested, so it was transferred here with my other personal belongings. During the intake, the card told me my personal belongings will be kept in the prison storeroom till I'm released. So that's one thing we need is stuck in the prison storeroom. I guess it means the task of yeah. Remember, it's for your innocence and freedom. And to bring down our sons of bitches. As your partner, I won't let you go alone. I've got your little something for you. Something good. Should make it a lot easier. Stop with the suspense already. The guards are on us. I can't say much. Anyway, when we finish here, I'll go get the thing I sent you. What? Go get them? Okay, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Figured out how to get $30,000 together? It's not a small amount. Thanks, you always have to clean up the mess. Give me a break. You owe me more favours than you could possibly pay back in this lifetime. Time's up. I guess it's time for me to go, buddy. Will me when it's done. I'll be waiting for you. Take care. Card. Act 1. Raiders of the Lost Card. <laughs> Hmm, inmate property storeroom, I can tell the name of the prisoners are not allowed anywhere near there. If I want to get in, I'll have to at least find out where their prison is first. Just before the visit ended, Rita did send me something, something that would make it easier for me to move around here. First, I get my hands on whatever that is, it might be able to help. Yep. Find Billy and get what Rita sent you. Looks like my order has arrived. Nice. Where is Billy? Oh, actually, we can uh, do this. Quit following me around, Pitch Week. But Bill, you promised to protect me. Hey, is your brain not working right? Or do you think I've got a bad memory? Day was 20 for one night's protection. I'm off duty. Can I get another day on credit? Just one more day. I'll take. I'll even take half a day. I'm going to play a few hands at the club this afternoon. You know I've got skills. Maybe I can. You seriously asking me for credit? Not unless you're willing to give me a few teeth as a deposit. This is bad. Damn. Reroll. Damn. <laughs> like I really don't have the money. Tell me what's with that. Oh yeah, okay. William. I mean, William is a... Uh... Oh, William, do you think you have time for a drink with me? I'm curious, Lee, how do you always have alcohol? It's not secret, I'm afraid. At last, I cannot say ho oh, oh. In that case, um, I won't. You won't drink? I won't ask. Oh, oh, oh William, taking, talking with you truly is a ray of sunshine in this place of dark. In this dark place. What time is it? Young oh, man, you... Hello? You speak so slowly. Please do... Meet you. I feel like my life is slipping away before my very eyes. I have been here for many years. So, please someone help me, I can't take it anymore. If you need to know anything, I'll ask somebody coming now. You can ask me any time. If you like 
Thanks, I appreciate it. Nice having you by. Uh, I'm not going to read that because I'm I'm going to end the video shortly. Um, okay, I can't find Bill. Um, <laughs> um, it's very hot in my room. My throat's dry. Um, yeah, so I've really enjoyed this. Uh, I think it's a bit too much for a demo, but I mean, if you wanted a long demo, you got one. Um, let's put it in my wish list. Hang on. Uh, there we go. My wish list. Lovely. Yeah. So I, I'm definitely going to look out for this one because this is pretty cool. Um, yeah. I, I, there's not really much to say. It, you've seen, you know, it's, this video is going to be o over two hours long. So you can make up your mind yourself <laughs> uh, if you've managed to make it this far. But I, I really like it. I think it's really well done. Um, yeah, and I'm looking forward to seeing the, the full release. So, hope you've enjoyed. Have a good day, everyone. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.